But on the other hand, Sonic 4s has a really good uh, melody to it. I really liked the melody. And just if they had done more with that melody, it could actually have been the best. I think it needed to be a little more out there. Like a little more... What's the word I'm looking for? Epic. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, okay, yeah. Something like that. (laughs) (laughs) I do like Super Sonic's model in this game. It looks fucking amazing. And the transformation sequence. Now I'll show you. Ah, so there is a ah. and I love the aura that he gives off. <laughs> he, he looks yeah. like a legitimate Super Saiyan now. <laughs> <laughs> I, there is only one problem I have with the transformation sequence, and that's a, it, because it, ta- it, it takes longer. And for that reason, you have to be careful when you transform; otherwise, you might just get crushed, <laughs> like I did once. <laughs> Why would you don't do it underneath the barrel? <laughs> <laughs> and the pink emerald returns. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I don't know why they why they made why they changed the the, the color actually because uh, I thought we we had a a set canon set of emerald colors for the modern Sonic games. I thought we all agreed pink was bad. <laughs> <laughs> pink was the non-canon emerald until now apparently. But you know, it occurs to me that that maybe they were going with Sonic 2's emerald colors. Maybe that one emerald came out of the closet finally. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think they just went with Sonic 2's emerald colors randomly for no good reason. I'm not sure. I I, I will say that I uh, just um, Johnny, did you get the sense that the game started to be more fun as you got used to the way the physics and controls went? Because that's the way it felt for me. Me too. Yeah. It's like um, f- it's like well, at the first. first thing, the first thing I was doing because I was already you know I I got the iPhone version. I was immediately comparing the two, and physics-wise, they're exactly the same. There's no changes to the physics at all, no matter what nobody, anybody tells you. They're exactly the same. Um, but, yeah, I mean, w- one thing that always constantly bugged me throughout my entire playthrough, it's not a matter of because of my experience with the past Sonic games. It's just it's just so glaring is the, the lack of air momentum. There's no inertia whatsoever. <laughs> And, you know, I, and I did find myself. You know, there are times where, you know, I found myself letting go of the D-pad. You know, to, yeah, I did that of, constantly of, the first two zones because I'm like, okay, spring launched me up in the air and it's going to carry me all the way across the fuck. Yeah, and by the way, like I never, I never really got into the argument of uncurling, but that really bugged the shit out of me. <laughs> it yeah. didn't bug me as much as I thought it would, though. It it doesn't bug you because it doesn't work against the level design, but at the same time, it it just, it just it's just the absence of that particular element of fun from the classic Sonic games in a supposedly classic style Sonic game that 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 it that gets play it. at all like a classic Sonic game. That, that there's another yeah. thing about that though. What uncurling it makes you incredibly tense because you're not sure if where you're going to land has a bat in it. Huh? Right, right Especially with all feet. those launch pads where it's going to send you flying in the air and then it expects you out of, in a split second to realize, oh, it's a chain of enemies and wants me to homing across now. Well, sometimes the homing attack just won't get the little targeting reticule on there on time. I'm not sure if it's the way I'm holding the D-pad, but it doesn't seem to work 100% uh, of the time. Had, it, it, the, the, the crosshair is or just a matter of your proximity to the enemy or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, but the, there, there, I found my, there are plenty of times where the uncurling I just, god damn, I just like, why, is it really so hard for me to just stay in a ball form? I, I could avoid so much damage that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, say la vie, or whatever the phrase is. What, what did I just say? Say, sera, sera. <laughs> I don't know what language I just whatever spoke. Whatever will I be, will be. <laughs> I, it's a it's like uh at, I like you know I just recorded my Sonic 2 let's play for my channel the the game footage that is and um you know coming right out of that into Sonic 4 it felt really stiff at first it was like Sonic's acceleration was slow. The the air momentum was gone. The the way he controls in general just feels really slow. And you know that's that's actually a main difference between Sonic Four and Classic Sonic. Okay, even when you're moving slow in a Classic Sonic game, does Sonic feel slow? 
Does it feel like Sonic is slow? Not that slow. Now, does it feel like Sonic himself is slow? Oh, no. No. Uh, that's what I mean. It's, it's, it's the flow it, of the control. It's it's like, it's, it's, what, there, there's no... But I don't know. The, the, that's the thing, though. There's only flow when you're holding forward. That's that's what I mean. It's like in Sonic Four, you have to be moving fast to feel like Sonic himself is at all fast. When you're moving slow, you feel like there's a chain, there's a ball on chain on his ankles, and he's and he's being dragged. <laughs> he's running on syrup. <laughs> yeah, As, you know there isn't much of a difference between between general slow movement above water and general movement underwater in this game. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. The underwater uh, sections were pretty non-existent anyway. There was only one water level, and it was really fucking easy, except for the Kaizo trap. Yeah. So if you want to talk about inconsistency with physics and such, uh, unless it's just me, unless I'm mistaken here, uh, Sonic can do the bad Nick bounce underwater. He what? can? Yeah. Huh? I've done it. Oh. I, I, well, like, again, I, I, might, I might be mistaking, but next time, try it out and see if it works. I could have sworn I did it because I bounced off a, uh, which one, an Orbanaut that shot all of its spiked balls already. And I was already at a height, and I bounced off, and I went just as high as I came up from. Huh. huh. How odd. That's a bit odd. Uh, I'll try that next time I play Labyrinth Zone Act 3, which probably isn't going to be for a while. Yet another, frankly, thing to, yet another thing to experiment Yes, yes. Yes. We're going to be dying. Johnny, apparently Hypersonic is still in the game. What? What? (laughs) The Sparkly sparkly Supersonic. Oh, Sparkly Supersonic. Oh, okay. Yeah, except the sparkles expire, so it's not quite the same. (laughs) Like, if you have sparkles when you turn into Supersonic, you keep the sparkles, but they expire at the same time they usually would. You also get to keep your shield while Supersonic, which is all kinds of fucked up. And nuclear, nuclear Sonic. Up. How redundant. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, that just struck me as weird. I dubbed him Nuclear Sonic. Yeah, he's giving me I off radiation. Him. Nuclear I Sonic, dug- original character, do not steal. Motion sickness Sonic. I shall call him Bling the Hedgehog. Oh, not <laughs> Biffalo the Fourth? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, um, I, I, I'm getting... I'm getting the PS3 version tomorrow. Well, after I get my paycheck anyway. But um, because I there are a few like I do know like the Wii version in itself is is pretty good. Uh, I do know that three the 360 and PS3 get uh more uh better quality graphics. Uh, the Wii version most... of the Sonic with his painted on mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it looks like someone drew the mouth on with a sharpie. I can't get over that. Are you talking about the ending sequence? Not just the ending sequence. It's the sprite game. in general. Do they, yeah, general I, I, general I do know one thing. Uh, it, um, the the, 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 <laughs> the drawn-on mouth at the ending sequence, you know, where he does his classic, uh, you know, finger-up pose at the end. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't yeah. have a smile in the iPhone version. What? <laughs> well, he's, no he's, he, he's Methylips the Blue... <laughs> Mephilus the blue, but uh, the, the thing about that mouth is the reason they added that mouth is is it's really quite obvious uh, because of the lack of resolution. You really wouldn't be able to see Sonic's mouth that well in the Wii version. Otherwise, the 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 the, the, um, the unleashed model, which is what they use for this version for the for, the, for this game, uh, it has a mouth, and the mouth is well animated in the HD version. You can see it in the HD videos we have, but. It, it wouldn't show up at a, at, at a lower resolution, so they so they just drew a mouth on to compensate, and it came out looking really lazy. <laughs> did, uh, did any of you guys play uh, at a standard ratio? Uh, like, uh, mine's, mine's, on ratio? A, mine, mine's on a widescreen TV, so no. Yeah, yeah I have mine on a widescreen. Uh, I was playing on an HD screen, and the 3D objects look really fucking jaggy compared to everything else in the game. Because I heard the game is a little more troublesome when you're playing at a standard 4-3 ratio. Well, that makes sense. It's like taking a third of the screen off and expecting you to play just as well. Sonic Genesis, anyone? No, N-Gage. That shit's N-Gage problem. (laughs) You ever played Sonic N for the N-Gage? Isn't that just Sonic Advance? Yeah, it's Sonic Advance for the end gauge, but with like half the screen missing. 
Remind, oh. re- re- reminds me of Sonic Neo Geo Pocket Color. It's Sonic 2 with the top half of the screen cut off. <laughs> Sonic Pocket Adventure was actually really good. Uh, I had a chance to play it recently. Fairly well. It's like Sonic 4, except with proper physics and more levels. <laughs> and original bosses. Yeah. And there's a thunderstorm going on outside, and I just now noticed that for no apparent reason. Anyway. Have you managed to beat the Casino Street Zone boss in about two seconds, Johnny? iPhone version? Yeah. <laughs> Wii version? No. <laughs> for some reason. And since when did Eggman learn how to do the screw attack? <laughs> uh, oh, is that what he did? I killed him before he had a chance to do that. I never saw the pinch mode. Never. Yeah, I, I never saw the pinch mode either in the iPhone version well, until I got to the boss rush anyway. Because I had a harder time for some reason, even though it's the exact same layout. Uh, yeah, but I What's saw it in the Wii version. I was like, what, this? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what, space jump? Screw attack? What? How many of us actually knew that there was a hidden set of spikes underneath the Casino Street boss uh, before we saw it in some other person's playthrough? Well, Not me. Those holes were nope. there for a reason. Well, <laughs> well yeah. Well, there's another thing. Well, another thing is, uh, I'm guessing because of the iPhone's marvelous touch controls, <laughs> it's next to impossible to wiggle out of his uh, his crane if he manages to grab you. But I did it in like a split second in the Wii version. <laughs> Oh wait, you can wiggle out? I thought he just dropped me. <laughs> no, you can wiggle out. Yourself. Awesome. Okay, that's not, good not, to know. Not, not that he ever grabs me. I'm usually on top of him before the boss yeah. fight even starts, when he <laughs> dies in two seconds. Normally, I'm bouncing in between him and the little bumpers on the walls. Bing, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah, uh, it had the potential to be a good boss, but it was just too fucking easy. And then you get Lost Labyrinth, the Mad Gear Zone. I yeah. liked Lost Labyrinth's boss, despite my uh, crusher phobia. It's there's probably too much, too much crusher phobia on my end. It's probably my my uh, uh, probably one of my favorite Sonic bosses in general. Uh, just because Johnny, Johnny did fuck you up when you got to the Mad Gear Zone boss and you saw that one boss fight. It's like, oh wait, you can pop them whenever you want. It's that you can't touch them once they blow up. <laughs> Yeah, with that, it makes mar- that makes perfect sense, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I, I did like the uh, the Mad Gear boss. Uh, I even like the pinch. I think it was pinch was one of my favorite of the pinch modes in the game. You know, Sonic Advance Two flashbacks, but or Mushroom yeah. Hill. Think of a good game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I, I didn't mind. So uh, the Lost Labyrinth uh, boss gave me more trouble on the iPhone than it did in the Wii. Can you guess why? <laughs> you kind of need to be pretty precise with your controls. And, uh, wait, is there another reason? No. No. Just the controls. Just the I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, um... The one thing that got me about the, the Mad Gear pinch mode was that fucking huge balloon he shoots at you. It's like, what? Uh, I could never dodge that. Ever. <laughs> it is really fucking hard to dodge. It's like, I can do it unless it blindsides me, but it's just like, where did that come from? <laughs> Jesus. What looking at? <laughs> hey, John, uh, Eggman's low up tall. <laughs> Eggman in the future? <laughs> I assume you saw the the transitional cutscene they added for Egg Station Zone. Yeah. By the way, since when is Tails developing missiles? <laughs> it's not like, a missile. Why? It's a rocket. What do you want to launch nuclear war on America? <laughs> it, it's a rocket without a cockpit. Instead, it has a handlebar that Sonic can hang on to because you know Tails knows that Sonic likes to ride you know outside of his vehicles you know instead of sitting inside. Well, he doesn't in Sonic Adventure too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the point he's making. <laughs> but yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I, I found that I thought that was pretty. Like, yeah, that was kind of the perfect opportunity to showcase tails. But I guess a tails missile is more epic. <laughs> My question is: If Sonic is, you know, going solo for this mission, where the fuck did the tails rocket come from? I don't know, Eggman just happened to conveniently go over one of Tails' missile silos. <laughs> <laughs> one of his hidden missile silos. <laughs> <laughs> and what, 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 you know, what makes even less sense than the rocket 
Eggman flies up into space in the Egomatic without like even a glass cover or 